up everybody hitting a park that everybody's pounded to death and uh me and my buddy dave are here he's running his at max with the big coil i'm running my e-track and hopefully we can pull some old coins we'll see if they left us anything we'll get back to you on the first old target all right guys overhaul with dave we both scanned it it was sounding real scratchy with a little bit of a high tone sure enough it's a junk gold chain but there's a cross in with it and it was definitely sterling so that's a nice piece of silver for today that's the first anything that was any good actually so we'll get back to you if we get anything else all right over a hole i had a jumpy target pulled this out of the hole first big ass chunk of iron kept going in the hole and i just popped this out of there see the imprint it's a nice little button. I'm not sure how old it is. I don't know a whole lot about buttons. But it's got a nice eagle on there. I don't think it's too old because it doesn't look... There's a shank. It's like pushed in, but it's a two-piece, I think. But I'm happy with that. That's a cool button. That's my first old target for today. So, we'll get back to you on the next. Alright, we changed spots. We've been hitting the woods. Haven't been successful yet. Nothing but junk. And then, I just flipped this out of the hole. I don't know if it's real yet. Oh, it's real. It's gotta be, because look, look at it. It's beautifully and shiny. Uh, it's kind of light. I don't know. It might just be thin. Uh, I think it's a junker. It's coming off. You can see the gold is starting to come off. Hopefully it's silver and maybe gold plated, but no, it's ringing in a low tone. I don't know. I'll get back to you if it's real. I saw it. I was getting a high tone and uh, I kicked the leaves away and there's this like plastic container. But there's something in the bottom of it. I already took a peek. Two wheat pennies in there. Let's see if we can get a year. These are they're pretty clean from being in there too. Oh wow, that's a 1914, I think. That's an old one. Too bad there's no D on that. That's clean. All right, let's see what this one is. Maybe this one's something nice. This one's a little orange. Yeah, that's a 44. 14 and a 44 in a little plastic case. I'll take it. All right, we'll get back at it. What's up, everybody? Beautiful day to be out. I'm going to hit my favorite old park, and I'm going to run my e-track, and hopefully we pick up some silver, or even better, maybe some gold. But who knows? My last two hunts, I got skunked. So we'll see what happens today. All right, guys. First good signal. We got a little bit of clad that was shallow, but this one's saying it's about six, seven inches. It's hitting in the 30s. Then you turn. And it's hitting solid 30s. Now it was up in the mid 40s too, but we'll check it out and I'll get back to you if it's something good. Alright, over that signal. Ended up being a weedy. I pulled out a piece of iron first, but first old coin. 57D. It's pretty green for a 50s. Normally they come out like reddish. But cool. It's an old coin. So we'll see what else we get. Alright, I had a scratchy, jumpy 38 signal. You see a little dark soil there? You see a dark spot here. So we'll see what it is together. Oh, gotta turn it on, that might help. Oh, what's that? And some type of token. Oh, 
Oh, it's real brittle. I just cracked it. All right, I'm gonna try to clean this up. I'll get back to you in a second. All right, I got it all cleaned up. It says Exposition Restaurant 25. I have no idea, but it's ready to break. But it's still a pretty cool find. I'll get back to you on the next target. All right, over another plug, and uh, it's a ring right there with a the black soil. There's nothing right there. Whatever it is, it's right there. What is that? Oh, it's an old ring. Oh, it's all black. I don't know if that's gonna, eh, that might be silver, I doubt it, but I just rubbed it and some of that black is coming off of there. Oh, I think I just found the stone that was in the top of it. There's a little red stone that was in it. That's pretty cool. Hopefully it's just tarnished silver. But still cool fun. I'll check it out and uh, get back to you at the wrap up and if it's silver or not. Alright, we'll get back at it. Alright, I had a jumpy 37 signal. I thought it was going to be a bottle cap, but once I got down to it, I think it's a railways token. If I can get it to focus, you can see Pittsburgh right across the top. So awesome. Old coins are starting to come out. Good for one fare. Hopefully, we'll get some silver today. Get back at it. Alright, I'm right next to the railways token here. Still getting a jumpy 30 signal right next to the plug and it gets pretty high so I'm gonna dig it up and I'll get back to you if it's something good oh well, that's what it was junk all right I'm gonna do a little wrap up of a couple hunts got a few goodies but wasn't too successful Got a junker ring. Picked up two Wheaties. They were in a little plastic container right under the surface in the woods. It was a 1914-1944. They're in decent shape. Got on to two nice buttons. I'd say my eagle button there was probably my nicest find that day. I was happy with that. And the other day I got out for a short hunt. Got a little piece of bling there. It was a broken brooch or something like that. And the red stone there came out of the junker ring. I was hoping it was going to be silver because it was black like that. But you can see that there's some green coming in on the bottom. So it's copper. I got this cool token. I don't really know what it is. I lost a piece when I was rubbing it. It broke. It said Exposition Restaurant and 25 in the middle. So who knows. Let me know if you know anything about it. I picked up one wheat. It was a 57D. And I picked up a trolley token. I always liked finding those. So, hopefully I'll get back to you soon. With some silver or maybe some gold. But, we don't always get lucky like that every time. Back at it. Happy hunting.